Okay, so I already put on the uh, veins using red yarn and the third degree silicone modeling compound um, and let that dry. I'm putting some brown eyeshadow on, um, starting with a lighter brown and then working a darker brown into my upper lid and then blending that. It is going to be a, a good amount of blending just to get that sunken eye look. And then I took some of the brown and put it under my eyes. Um, that'll be a fair amount of blending as well. And once I got the brown in, I went with a red eyeshadow and blended that out further, which you will see here in a little bit. Okay, so in this step, I was taking a different type of brown shade um, and putting it into against the veins just to maybe create some more texture, more depth. Um, and then I was using a yellowish shade, maybe it was more like a yellow ochre kind of shade um, to kind of blend that a little bit and make it not as dark. Um, I was kind of just messing around with some shades here and, you know, just seeing what would look best. I didn't really have a plan, I was just more seeing where this went. So I just kept blending and blending, um, and I'm going to do this on the other side of my face as well, where the other veins are. Um, it's kind of, with special effects, it's kind of just messing around with things until you feel like it looks right. The fun thing about this is that there's not really any rules with this look. It's kind of just whatever you feel like. There's no um, specific character or thing I was basing this off of, more just kind of looking like diseased and, you know, kind of deadish. So you can kind of have some freedom there. So I'm blending this out on the other side as well, and um, I didn't use as much of the yellow on the other side, it was more just a dark brown with a very light brown. Um, and then I took some of the Ben Nye contour palette and I got a light shade just to decrease the intensity of this color and to blend it more into my face. Um, so it didn't just look like makeup sitting on top of my face, it looked more, it gives it more of a realistic look, um, and dampens the color a little bit. I personally like the way that it was making it look. And I got some of that lightish color as well on the veins, and it added a little bit of highlight so you can still see the veins and they still kind of like popped out a bit. So after I got the blending that I wanted with the color fading and all of that, I went back in and darkened up the veins on this side of my face a little bit just because they seem too red still from the very bright red yarn I had used and I didn't want it to be that bright so I went and got um, a dark brown color again to go over those veins and then I continued with the blending. Um, there's a lot of blending in this process, just to fade it into your face, making it look realistic. Um, 
that's sort of what special effects is about, just blending, blending, blending until you get the right colors you want to see. Um, and then I took that light contour color I had used on the veins to decrease the colors um, and put it all over my face just to kind of color match the rest of my face um, so that everything kind of melded together here. So here I was taking more of that red color I'd used before and extending it further down my eye just because I wanted it to go more into the eye socket um, rather than just lining the eye and making it look like an eyeliner, eyeshadow. I wanted it to look more like part of the skin. Um, and then just using that sponge with a little bit of that um, light contour color to blend it out. Um, the next step here was my lips. Um, I'm using a, the shade Wolf from Kat Von D in the liquid um, matte. Um, and I was kind of just being a little messy with putting this on. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, blending it all over and then letting it dry. I got also Kat Von D um, the white lipstick. I forget what the shade is called. but. I put that all over the lips um, because the eventual plan is that I want this, my lips to be a very light blue color. Um, since I'm going for a dead look here, um, I don't want the lips to be super dark. I want them to look, you know, cyanotic. Um, so this is another just blending, blending process. And, um, it can like like just with the face you don't have to be super strict with the rules here you can kind of just mess around with certain colors until you get it to a shade that you like for this look so here i had taken a little bit of blue eyeshadow and i'm putting it on the lower lip um and just kind of blending that out <laughs> wasn't sure how it was going which is why i made that face but um, next I'm just sort of blending out the lipstick past my actual lip line, um, smudging it basically, because um, I wanted that blue to extend further onto the skin, because pretty much as someone is going further into decomposition and without oxygen, um, the blue or cyanosis around the lips is going to go past the lip area a little bit. So that's sort of what I was trying to achieve with this. All right, so once I got it blended out, I was using the light um, tone color that I'd used on the veins um, just to kind of dampen that color once again to make it not look so much like makeup. Um, and. You know, I don't want the color to be super dark because lips don't really look like that when you're dead. They look more of a lighter blue, although some people can have dark cyanotic lips, but that's not what I was wanting to achieve with this. So um, once you get that blended out um, and are happy with it, I was just adding a little bit of blue eyeshadow onto the one part of the veins on that face, on that side of my face, um, just to give it a little different kind of color in there. Um, I have a problem with just not knowing when to stop sometimes and uh, wanting to add extra textures, extra what can I make it, what can I do to make it look better. So. That's sort of what I'm doing here is just, you know, blending until I feel like it looks right. I added a little bit of light blue mixed with that light concealer um, and put it under my eyes. It's hard to see it come through in the video, but in person, it I liked the um, effect that it created. And then I added a little bit of that same mixture of the light blue with the light concealer um, contour color into my nose area just because it's part of the 
you know, mucous membrane area, which would get a little cyanotic after a while. Um, so I put that on the tip of my nose and then around like the outside of my nostrils. And pretty much done from there. And hope you enjoyed this.